How's it going everybody? Odyssey64 here with a new video on the channel. So, um, a little bit of context for this. So if you guys haven't known already, I participated in a table turf tournament run by, um, the stone down here. And he just recently posted a video on it. So, I want to react to it. And definitely you guys uh, go ahead and, uh, Show this video some love as it just came out literally an hour ago at the time of recording this. I saw this on the Discord, so I thought I might as well give it a watch and react to it. So with that being said, everybody, hopefully you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's get started. And I'm going to explain how this went as I go when it eventually gets to um, some of the stuff for me. I decided to host the first ever Table Turf Battle Invitational called Table Turf Tawny featuring eight All right, so the funny creators. thing about this yeah. is, um, and this is going to be really funny when I mentioned this. So, um, going back here. I decided to host the first ever Table Turf Battle Invitational called Table Turf Tour. So, you may be wondering, I participated in this, right? So you may be wondering, why is my name on, not on here? Well, I he, he may get into it in a little bit, but if not, then I'll, uh, then I will um, explain in a bit. Featuring eight Splatoon content creators. It's double elimination, so if you lose twice, then you're out. Yeah, it was double Every win needs a winning deck, but even though I was running the event, I barely had any time to build a deck myself. So I decided to do more research, and I found the Table Turf Battle Discord server, where for the past few months, they've been running events and sharing advice around this game mode. So if you're into Table Turf Battle, then I would highly recommend checking it out. I actually want to check I actually want to check that out. I'm curious about what I should do with my deck to improve it. A deck all around the pair of Captain and Marigold, which have great synergy with each other. So, um maybe I'll I'll put a picture of it on screen of my deck. So if you guys do uh want to copy it, you can. I don't know why you'd want to do that though cuz that's lame and I don't want people copying my deck. But um I guess you get kind of sad centered mind specifically around the Cali card, but at the same time, it's like sort of a Cali shiver thing. So I, I didn't have that much of a thought process behind my deck, just I want Cali in it and the cards that benefit Cali the most. So yeah. So and Captain other general Miracle, cards in the pretty deck like Reflux and Autobomb. This will allow me to gain specials quick and easy, but even a deck like this can't get me an easy win as Odyssey 64 was participating. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> you know, despite him mentioning that, we never went against each other in the tournament. Get me an easy win as Odyssey 64. <laughs> he, we never showed up. <laughs> I find this hilarious, but we actually never went up against each other in the tournament. We never did. Uh, which is very unfortunate. He has been on the table turf grind ever since the game was released and has been actively playing all year. So if I, I mean, in a way, I kind of did. <laughs> I did I kind of did start playing day 1. <laughs> I will admit, though, after a while I kind of fell off of it and this tournament made me realize that, but I'm getting back into it. I'm getting back into it. I'm I need to get the Cali sleeves before my deck is entirely complete. My first match was against Waylord, and going into it, I wasn't very confident. At this I was point, only I was going ranked up against 10 in Table Turf entering this, and I knew several people who would double, even triple my own rank. So I had to make sure that I won my first game, because that can spell out how the rest of the event was going to go. Okay, so I'm going to start off by playing my signature captain. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Okay, that's actually such a good move by me. Okay, that gets me three points. Okay, no, I don't do. I don't really know how right, to use my see. special moves wisely. Let's see what he I think I had this one in the bag. Dude, I like this deck. Yo, Holy 87 shit. to 48. What is, wow. is this one fit? Okay, yeah, that's perfect. I played that so well. Okay. I really need to go up against uh, the bracket, shouldn't I? Stone now, winning my first turf. game gave me a massive ego boost. If I could just win one more game in a decisive victory like that, then I could win the entire thing. It's one thing to be overconfident, but it's another to be yap happy. You are fucking bad at this game. <laughs> oh my god, okay. 
have to play around the fact that I didn't get Okay, cat. cool. Okay. It, this isn't looking good. Oh boy. Shit. You can't just do you can't just do this. Okay. Um, and then you put this here. Well, I, I don't know exactly special. what deck and then you also like how, like the you get a full deck that he made that and I did, so I don't exactly well. know how to play it. My but I do also really use that uh Trisaucer card in the top right. Really well here. But other than that, that seems to be like the only card we have in common. Oh never mind, and okay, the burst bomb. You have to be a very impactful burst bomb. Oh, he's got no okay, special. Okay, I think I lost Thing. that one. Neither of them do. That's yeah, close. Yeah, okay. This next match really counts then. Okay, I'll be the first one to admit it. That wasn't very good, but all I need to do is win one more game so I can move on and forget all about that. Dang. <laughs> okay. I'm in loser's bracket now, fellas. Alright, yes, I got a funny thing to say about this. When I went up against um, Dran Snake, as you guys may have seen in uh, my video, I was in a voice chat with her, and I was joking about, you know, what if I went into loser's bracket first round just for a loser's bracket run and just for content? That would have been absolutely hilarious, and, and I'm not sure if I could have done it. Maybe. As much as I would have loved to, <laughs> it would have been it would have been hilarious if I did a losers run, but I decided not to, and I did pretty well. First match, and now I'm in the losers bracket. This is hell because if I lose another match down here, then I'm eliminated from the tournament. It's a do or die situation right now. My next match was against Mr. Me, and considering how the last two games went, I had to completely change my strategy. But my deck only had one strategy: get captain at the beginning and win. So I'd have to come up with a new game plan for the game. Okay, day. so I'm going to be honest, and this can be constructive criticism as well. You can't just have a single card as your win condition. Like, like you can't just have one big card and use that as your win condition. Like, sure, that, that is a really good strategy in some cases, but it's an RNG thing. You have two chances to pull a card like that, and having to rely on that card to win in specifically any of the maps that we played it, that's not good you have to try and create a balance of having multiple strategies especially since there was a plethora of amount of um stages we had to use i mean for example like my best stage is um i don't remember what it is i'll show it on screen and my strategy for that ended up having to be with a single card but well and that caused me to lose intentionally because i didn't get it so that, however, there are other ways that I can kind of get around it with other cards that I have. So having multiple strategies is very helpful and relying on just one card is not very good in any card game. But I digress, let's continue. Right now, or else I won't be able to win. So I decided to try and build up as many specials as I could and make a comeback in the end game. And just as I thought that the new plan might work, I overlooked something big. Now that Mr. Me was in my base and had a lot of real estate in his base, there wasn't much that I could do to win. And in the second match, something similar happened. Shit. That is... Uh, that, that's rough. How the hell did you get in there? You, you, got, you, you gotta go be... Yeah, there. that's the thing. You gotta be careful yeah, with some of those. just go in there. What is this game? Yes, yeah, yeah, so a uh, little helpful thing for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in on it. You, the, you see this spot right here? I didn't realize this until the finals because someone else did it to me. But you can actually place cards at an angle next to them. Even if they're surrounded by blue, if there's one spot like to the left or right, like where that special is, you can still play your card there. And it is really funky with like angles and stuff like that. So, it, it's rough. It is really rough. Son. Nope. Okay. GG. I'm out. That's what you get for not practicing. And that was it. 
I was man. Out. I <laughs> He's been using the same song I, I used when I got second. I could have built a better deck, but I had a fun, and that's all that mattered. But there's still a tournament happening, and since I had nothing else better to do, I decided to cast the next few matches, starting off with winners round two: Waylord versus Dury Gatham. Dury is absolutely cracked that this. table turf, by the way. Four I mean, the he caused me to lose. Like, Put he went 3-0 in the uh, finals winning this against one. me. Well, let's see, I think we're going to have an Odyssey Dur Dury Gatham Grands. That's what Wait, I'm he called that? Wait, he called that? That's crazy. He called that in, like, second round? Jeez. Yeah, Dury then won I cast two the of next match against Odyssey 64 in the semifinals. Oh. We have the two tables. Oh, this map was awful. Oh my goodness. I could not play in that. That's like one of my worst stages. Especially for like the deck that I have. Nasty radio. Okay. They're playing they're playing to their own side. They're trying to Like this was make awful. That up. Ooh, absolutely denying space there. Good move by Odyssey, to be honest. Odyssey has to okay. come up with something right now. Well, I'm not. I don't He's think there's anything else I could have done. Something that that Derry has. I not just did done not yet. have any good options. Another. I don't think. And this is table turf, so anyone can still win. That's gonna build up another two specials for him there. He's probably gonna use a special here on the yeah, octoling, um, going into the enemy base. But yeah, Dury's I also couldn't building think up of space. anything. My cards were too big. What's gonna happen here? Dury My has cards are so way too many big specials that. that he can use. Look at him go. He's just gonna clean up here. He's gonna use but another that match one. Was really close though. This is Dury's game. Oh, he's also playing a captain deck. Oh my and goodness, Dury's bro. also winning from the that start here. Maybe this could be a clean sweep from Dury. Maybe he's the favorite the to win. It, there are still only eight turns but left, he'll so get to that anything eventually. could happen. This is only the first hour of the tournament. I feel like that whenever commentators commentate anything, they just talk like, like they're an engineer in a car. Oh my god, look at this going. They're going so well. Dury's play, making pretty good moves here. He has so many specials built up, but Odyssey also does as well. He's gonna help build up another one. This is a very special field deck. There's Odyssey with another special. But it is a 98. He could just throw off specials right here. Yeah, why didn't I... Look how many specials why Odyssey did I throw has built specials? up. He's gonna oh, use no, it this turn. Um... Yeah, why did I throw out any but specials? But Dury also has a special of his own. Oh, well, my card's absolutely He's trash He's gonna hit this. 120 here. If, if Odyssey doesn't do something about it. I have to double check. One nineteen. Like, One twenty is right yeah, I there, didn't man. Dish anything out. Odyssey's taking a lot of time here. But I don't think that there's, that there's a single card in the game that can get fifty plus points. That he's gonna need to beat it. Oh, I it's think it may have been good the for him. It's not looking the, good of the special, um, the special things. Like I was blocked off by the special things as well. I think that may have been what it was. Like my cards just weren't able to get around them. I think that may have been what it was. Oh, I'd have to double he's gonna check. have to pull something out of his ass if he wants to beat Dury here. There's gonna be a clean 2-0 sweep from Dury. Like, why did I stack and up so many specials but I didn't also do been very good. And that's, and that's a wrap. Dury is definitely the number one player to beat right now. Now that Dury is in Grand Finals, we needed to watch some of the matches in the losers bracket. Starting off with Dran Snake versus Knack Attack. Oh, uh, this was insane, by the way. Oh my goodness. I, I, I was, I already, um, I'll say I was just waiting for this match. Cause I was, so I was watching it because I was waiting for either of them to finish. This got ready. crazy. This was my favorite set from the whole tourney. Anyways, we have Knack this Attack and Dran Snake and whoever wins this goes into losers finals against odyssey 64 and then whoever wins against odyssey goes into the grand finals against dury right oh yeah quick pause uh, i actually wasn't invited to this tournament i actually kind of crashed it literally because i joined the discord server that exact day and the person who was going to play couldn't participate just gonna put that out there
And again, about right now, um, Nakatak is winning by one. With four turns left, it can really go anyone's way. And with three special points, what can he do with that? Nothing, because all of these things require more than... Th Wait, what? Like, I stand correct, and maybe he couldn't do something. The Kraken Royale coming out. Kind of like all my s rank teammates. It's doing a lot. Wait, that's not like my s rank teammates at all. With one turn left, it's looking like Dranznik is taking out the victory unless the Knack Attack can use their specials widely on Captain Cuttlefish of all things. All depends what Dranz also doing on this move as well. We're going to be very close. It's probably going to be like a, a two or three point difference on this one. And Knack Attack wins! That, I, I honestly thought that Dran was going to win that. That was a close match. Pretty good hand from, from Knack Attack starting off with the Harmony. Trying to build up a little bit of momentum going into this. We know that, that in table turf battle, momentum means a lot. If you can get that those that opening real fast, if you can cut Ooh, them that's off, a good block actually. Then, then that would be if really that spike good. Card However, wasn't the spike make a little huge. way through, so Dranz will have to use that oh, opportunity the, eel fry. the most that they can. I, I haven't seen Nack that before. Making like, good use of the cuttlefish there with two specials right next to each other. If you can just find a way to fill them in, then that'll be pretty good. He's running away with the game right now. If Nak cannot make something out of this, then this just seems to be a free win. This small fry could do a lot. It could help build up special. Uh, I put that there. It's right there. You could build up three specials. Yeah, it's I right put there. That there. The special comes out. It and wouldn't it's have been used three specials really well though, here. But it would have been. Yeah, it would have been no two. way. Yeah, no. Nak has to find some way. To take the advantage that he already has and extend it, but the Spatana Wipe coming out, going into Nak's base. Three turns left. Nak just has to pass here. And knowing Dran, Dran might have something up their sleeve. And Kraken Royale special, gaining a lot of mileage there. Oh, oh yeah, okay. this is where it gets crazy. <laughs> But Nak also has a lot of specials for a DJ or PBO out here, fellas. This is looking like Nak's game. Unless Dran right, pulls watch. something out as well. This is and I crazy. Think that is still GG to Nak attack. By one. Literally point. winning by one. The burst bomb saved the game. Insane like, game. That from was Nack absolutely right disgusting that, when I saw Dran that. Was really good. Then, oh boy. Nak wins the set, but both players played really well, and I was surprised by the level of skill in this tournament. Next up was the Losers Finals to decide All who right. played against <laughs> Jerry in the, the Grand this, Final. I was getting so nervous. Nak. Now, before this set starts, I want to mention that this is a run back, as these two competitors have yeah, already played a I game. Yeah, I demolished Nak first round. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was funny. Uh, yeah, this is a run back, so I will admit, during this, I was a little nervous. I was kind of hoping I would go up against someone new for the run back. I mean, for the losers, but th this was great, too. ...each other in round two. So it will be interesting whether Knack will be able to win, or will Odyssey beat him again. Got the Marigold. With yeah, I wonder what's going to happen. It's a very good opening move. It helps you build special really, really, really good. No, don't. You had, you had Marigold. Oh, you got Marigold again. If you, if you don't see it, okay. unless you got a strategy with Grillers. All I'm saying is that if you're competing. Okay, okay. If you're, if you're in stream right now, Knack, if you're in stream right now, you can like put the, put the special into the hole, into like Marigold's eyes. But here we are. Yeah. <laughs> this first round wasn't but that Nack good, is but going insane right now. But I'm but, but the, see the, that's the thing about like my deck is that the way that I built it 
was it seemed that a lot of, I had a lot of cards that could just connect with each other and gain a lot of special really quickly. Like, you see all of this, like, clumped together on the right side. Like, all of that is just from, uh... Is literally just from that, uh, alone. Up. Just from the combination. Um, like, I have a lot of opportunity for special. Game. Ernie needs one more card. He has the, he has the special that he's gonna pop. This is gonna be a very important game for Nack because yeah, but if I Nack can win this, then he can probably keep this momentum in the grand finals from the loser's side. Momentum is very important in this, in this game. And if Nack can keep that, then that's gonna be pretty good. But that Cali card looks so good, I want that. <laughs> alright, here, alright, here, here's the thing. How to get shiny Cali card in three easy steps. Number one, per purchase the card with chunks or get lucky from a card pack. Number two, keep getting more card packs until you get duplicates of other cards. Number three, go to your table turf menu and click on the card or that you want to upgrade. In my case, it was the Cali card and just press upgrade. It's that simple. So if you have a favorite card that you like to use and you want to get a, give it a little extra love, that's how you do it. The lead, but all that space that Odyssey has built up, Nack is kind of like trapped in a corner a little bit right now. He has to find a way out. Has to build up that special. He only has the burst bomb to use, but as we know, burst bomb can be very clutch in situations like this. That's going to build up an extra special for him, which could be used later. And it's now 1-1. One, one. It's actually going to be very important. Is it going to be like yeah, this a match time really where close. Odyssey, I, The Naka fatigue and the, the nerve are starting forever. to kick in at this point. Or is Nack going to make the upset? He's going to win the run back, and then he's going to go against Dury. It all comes down to this next match. Captain Cuddlefish coming out. Trying to extend it up to the top. Gain some more space around. You can tell that I don't play this game as much as I wish I did. It's because my commentary skills are good. But just not for, like... Again, to be a commentator, you have to be good at commentating, but you also need to know about the game. And I think I only have that in one department right now. Dynamo Roller coming out. Looking nice, by the way. 43-37, 9 turns left. Hydra Splatling, maybe? That's going to be really good, because then he can just go around, flank around. He's in the spawn of the Hydra. Man, her four lobbies have been a little bit crazy lately, but... Oh, Man, I'm going to be honest, been... that that um cold-blooded bandit shiver card, ever since I put that in, I feel like my deck's been just better. I bet. I'm going to be All real. All of us in chat are just holding our breaths, hoping, hoping that Nat can stay in the lead here. Seems like it. He has the specials. He has the. He has the. He has the advantage, but he has to pass on something. It's probably gonna be the e leader, to be honest. We're just waiting, and we're waiting. Yeah, look at that. 184. Is he 64? I was frantic trying to figure out what I could do. I I had five specials, so I had. I was if like if I put down a certain card, I would win. And of course, as always. The Cali card coming in clutch. Every every time, I feel. It always ends Cali up being like the last out. card I play. And it's going to be very close. I want Knack to win. I want Knack to win. And always he wins. Okay. I won by seven. I call that rigged myself, but okay. That was a valiant effort from Knack, being able to take one game against Odyssey compared to losing 2-0 like he did in round 2. But now it's time for the grand finals. The run back of the semi-finals between Dury and Odyssey. And we all know what happened. Dury win like he did last time, but will Odyssey rise above him and take the victory? <laughs> I decided to get Dransnake on the mic to help me commentate this last match. I mean... I don't think we need to see anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, and then you just record them in full. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Oh man, the worst part is that this was my map too. Like, 
I knew how to play this map. Like, I had, like, 50-something wins against, um, Shiver. Just to grind XP. So, I knew how to play this map. And the nerves got to me, and I just couldn't close it out. Definitely in his own base, and I think he would win. It, that We it, already see Odyssey man. in general chat already saying GG's. Yeah, I knew it was over. And I didn't have anything to. I didn't have anything to play. That's it. That's the end of Table Turf Tournament One, with your winner, Jury. I oh, tried so hard. Geez, to everyone. Like, but hey, I had fun though. Today. And that was like my. And that's the end that. of Table Turf Tony One. Now, even if I was tied for last in the end. I had a lot of fun running and commentating the event. I want to thank everyone for showing up on time and not holding up the event so it could run nice and smoothly. And who knows, maybe TableTurf 22 is already in the works. So comment down below who you want to participate and I'll see you in the next video. Pretty cool. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. That was a lot of fun reacting to that. Definitely check out The Stone, I'll put his uh, channel in the description. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys next time.